I would first tell patients about Trichomonas vaginalis, the parasite that this test detects, since many people have not heard about this organism before. It is actually an underestimated pathogen that causes a large amount of disease worldwide. It is the most common curable sexually transmitted infection in the United States, and more than 3.7 million individuals are infected. Many people do not experience symptoms due to infection, but women may have mild to severe symptoms, including vaginal itching, burning, and discharge. Importantly, infection also increases their likelihood of acquiring other sexually transmitted infections, such as HIV, and may cause low birth weight and preterm delivery in pregnant women. Men can also experience symptoms such as urethral or penile pain and discharge and burn burning with urination. After I told my patients about Trichomonas vaginalis, I would then tell them about how this new test detects the genetic material from the parasite and is much better at detecting infections than other methods on the market. The Aptima Trichomonas vaginalis assay is a nucleic acid amplification method that detects the parasite's ribosomal RNA. It's important for providers to know that this test is much more sensitive and specific than the other commercially available assays. It is also much better than the commonly used wet prep method, which has a sensitivity of only 40 to 70 percent compared to the Aptima assay. It's also important to note that this test can be performed on a variety of specimen types. The test is FDA approved for female urine and endocervical and vaginal swabs, and we have also validated this test for use with male urine, male urethral swabs, and urine collected after prostatic massage. Specific Aptima devices need to be used for transporting the specimens to our laboratory for testing. Finally, providers should be aware that the same specimen can be used for trichomonas, chlamydia, and gonorrhea testing, therefore making it easier to test for these three organisms. This is a qualitative test, so results are reported as either positive or negative. A positive test result indicates that the patient is infected with trichomonas vaginalis and should be appropriately managed. This often includes treatment for the patient's sexual partner so that the patient doesn't become reinfected. In general, a negative test result indicates that the patient does not have infection, but it's important to note that the test relies on a number of factors, including adequate specimen collection. So if the first test is negative and the provider still suspects infection, then repeat testing may be indicated. Lastly, providers should know that parasite RNA may persist for some time after treatment, and therefore this test should not be used to monitor response to therapy.